Okay, this is lesson uh, 30 in the orientation series, the Healthy Foundations Lesson 13, and it's about sleep environment. This is very important, sleep environment. First of all, you want a comfortable place in which to sleep. Something that's not too firm, but something that's not too soft either. Um, you want the right temperature. You want to cock the window open a little bit to get some fresh air if you can get fresh air where you are. You also want to make sure that the room is not cluttered. Order, uh, we are God's children and the house of the Lord is a house of order and our houses should be a house of order also and especially in a bedroom if order isn't kept in the bedroom it, it tends to create a, a little bit of friction there and um, it's not as easy to relax it's just a little bit of stress. It's, it's amazing that that's the situation. Also, don't eat right before going to bed or drink right before going to bed. Uh, this can disrupt your night's sleep in that you may have to go, get up and use the facilities in the middle of the night and you don't want that. With younger children, you may find that they wet the bed. You do not want to eat or drink at least a couple hours before going to bed. Also, you do not want them on electronic games within two or three hours of going to bed. You don't want them watching television with two to three hours before going to bed or on the computer within two or three hours of going to bed. It, you want the mind to be able to relax. In this day of electromagnetic frequencies and how they bombard the mind, please, 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 please let the mind have some time away from those. Um, don't have a cell phone in the room have as few electronics in the room as possible. Um, this is all having to do with EMFs and how they affect the brain. And for heaven's sakes, please do not let a child sleep with a cell phone under their pillow. I'm sorry, cell phones do cause cancer. They are causing cancer in a lot of our youth. Um, I have experienced that for myself with individuals. Please um, keep cell phones out from under their pillows and away from their rooms at night. In fact, turn them off uh, and have them in a far away place in the house. Um, the sleep environment should be uh, fairly quiet um, so as not to disturb sleep and as I said the temperature should be comfortable, uh, not overly hot, not overly cold. A little bit on the cool side is the best. That has to do with the sleep environment, and we'll see you in Lesson 31.